Okay, we have a PS4 Pro board. Uh, I will show you the problem. We have on our hands today, we have a dorked up Ethernet port. Now, I've never pulled one of these before, so they have given me a donor board, and we will attempt to pull it from the donor board, and if we are successful, then I will worry about the customer board. But I want to make sure I can pull this one successfully. There's a lot of plastic to it, so it could be a little bit of a challenge. This one is fine, but we have to pull it, and it still has to be fine. Ideally, I would like to think I will low melt the anchors, but I will not low melt the pins. And then we'll hope that we can just clean out the anchors and go from there. While I'm setting up my equipment, switching everything on. Those are the temperatures I'll be using. I don't anticipate using the Pico Pencil, but if I have to run a jumper or something, that's what I would use. And I may have to adjust the hot air down depending on how difficult this port wants to be. If I see melting, I definitely will, but we'll try with our normal temperatures and if Everything is successful. We'll go from there. This is not going to be just a slightly bit awkward.
Okay, apparently I forgot to turn on my mic. I'm not sure when I did that. I I was doing commentary and I meant there for there be, to be commentary on this video, but there will not be, so sorry if you had to deal with music. Anyway, that poll was a, a whole bunch of lessons of what not to do in the future. I used a different nozzle. That didn't work too good. <laughs> Burnt the heck out of the port. Luckily we were not trying to save the port, so all good, but still. Alright. I'm not sure this thing is actually sitting flat. It is. Very good. You know what? I might actually use the Pico pencil after all. Let me get this bugger to get to stay in here. Yeah, that uh, last pull was everything not to do. If you want an example of not to do, don't don't do that. I changed the like I said, I changed the nozzle on the hot air station, and that turned out to be an error. I went with a larger nozzle and created a melting mess. Luckily, we're not trying to save that port. This is the port we wanted to save, so and that one went smoothly. So. Do the first example and not the second example. All right, what I want to do is tack down these pins in an aligned fashion. Okay, more solder. Actually, it would be more useful to me to have it hang in here so I can just dab it without having to pick up a pink. I want to need more than that. These pins are a little further apart than your typical HDMI, so that's nice. But they practically take all the solder off the tip, each pin apparently. Interesting. Everything's new on this job. Everything's new on this job, and that's okay. I don't need to hold down the board anymore so I can add a little more steadiness. The tweezer on the iron technique. Alright. That seems pretty good. One of the million reasons why I love the Pico Pencil. Alright, now we need to do the anchor points. Not going to be as fun. I'm not sure what this pad came off of. Okay. 
All right. Need to get these two outside ones here first. And then we'll flip it to a direction. We'll use a big iron for this one. Just to make sure we get good feed through. And we will use a hank of hot solder to feed in. Alright, we will not go that direction for the other side because we will end up burning the plastic. So we'll situate this in a way. we we'll come at it from the other side. We we'll end up having to clean up some solder too. Not a big deal. I'd rather clean solder off the ground pad than melt plastic. Let's give it a nice healthy dose of flux. Yeah. Alright, well, let's just solder a little too quick on that one. Let that a little more onto it. Just a little more. Alright. Let's clean that off. I don't think we did too bad with the extra solder, so I'm not going to worry about it. Did not have a low mount incident. All right, so this thing is sort of just not so unsteady. You may not get to see the cleaning that well, but. You're not missing anything. Uh, let's test all of our pins. Oh yeah. Very solid. Very nice. I'm going to take the air compressor to this thing, but that's really going to be it for this video. We got good feed through on the anchor points. The pins are down solid. We pulled the port without burning it. The first port, the port we needed. Uh, the second port did not go well with a uh, different nozzle and yeah, that was fairly terrible. So, But anyway, that's all for this video. Uh, if you have any questions about the equipment I used in this video, uh, it should all be linked down in the description below. Um, if you like the video, hit hit the like button, please. And if you like my channel or would like to see more videos like this, uh, anyway, uh, you know, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.